In this tutorial I am going to show how to create a fragmented 3D animation in After Effects. This effect can work with almost any footage and really depends on your creativity. It's going to be detailed step by step process from start to finish, so I recommend not skipping any steps to avoid confusion later on. With that said, let me know in the comments if this format is helpful and what I could improve. Also in this video I used a shake preset to add more dynamics and you can download it from the link in the description. Let's get started. This effect works best with static footage where the subject stays relatively still. If there is a lot of movement, the cut out pieces will start shifting out of place and won't align properly. To start, duplicate your footage and name the layer something like mask1, then grab the rectangle tool and draw the first mask. Duplicate the original footage again, create a new mask and keep repeating this process until you've cut out all the fragments you want. It's really important to have each mask on its own separate layer because this gives us the freedom to work with them later. Feel free to pick any parts of the footage that work best for the effect, it's all about your material and vision. And don't stress about making the mask perfect because you'll be able to tweak them as much as you want later. Now that we have our mask on separate layers, select all the layers and press Ctrl Alt Home to center the anchor points. Then switch all the layers into 3D space. Next create a 3D camera, right click New Camera and choose 35mm. The first thing we need to do is animate the camera's zoom, so what will be easier to position the fragments in the space later on. Open up the transform settings. Animate the position, set the first keyframe at the beginning, start zooming around the middle and then copy the first keyframe and paste it at the end. To make the motion look smooth, select the keyframes, press F9 and then open the speed graph to adjust the curve, something like this. Now we can start positioning the fragments. For better control switch to 2 view mode and in the left panel choose top view. This makes it too much easier to adjust how far each fragment is from the camera. Drag the layers in 3D space, placing some closer to camera and others farther away. You can also duplicate some fragments and spread them around in different areas to add more depth and complexity. This is the stage where you can really experiment to create something unique and visual interesting. After arranging the fragments, here's what I've got so far. Now it's time to enhance the details and add some styling. Let's start by making the fragments stand out from the original footage. Apply the curve effect to one of the fragments and slightly increase the brightness. Then copy the effect and paste it onto the other fragments. If you want more variety, you can tweak the settings for each layer, but I'm going to leave mine consistent. Next, let's soften the edges for the fragments. Double tap M button to open the mask properties and set the feather to round 5 to get rid of harsh lines. Now create an adjustment layer, apply the add grain effect and set the viewing mode to final output. Choose a preset you like and adjust the intensity to your preference. After that, add the curve effect again to boost the contrast just a bit. The final effect to add is posterize time. I usually set it to half the frame rate of my composition. If my comp is 24 frames, I set it to 12. This gives the animation a stylized choppy wipe. For the finishing touch, let's add some camera shake. I am using my shake preset pack, which you can grab from the link in the description. For this project, I am going with camera shake light. It adds movement without being too much. Once applied, you can fine tune the shake settings inside the composition to make it fit perfectly. If this tutorial was helpful for you, please let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear your feedback and your support gives me the motivation to create even more tutorials like this. See you in the next video, take care.